Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to take out this thatch in your lawn with that Ryobi dethatcher on Dad It Yourself. So what do we have here? Ryobi RY18SFX 35A-0. No batteries included, but 18 volts. What is that? What is that? Ooh, brushless. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is an 18 volt cordless brushless lawn scarifier, all the way from the United Kingdom. Hey, so for those of you who follow my channel know, you know I have a thing for dethatchers and scarifiers. I've done multiple videos on the Sunjo dethatcher and they're some of my most popular, but also if you follow my channel, you know that I'm a Ryobi guy. So when I had a chance to pick this up from the UK, I did. At the end of the video, I'll do some comparisons and I'll talk about price and availability of this item. But in the meantime, let's get this box open. This is attached. So let's pull the body out of here. Not too heavy at all. So, I put that together in just a couple of minutes. The only thing I did wrong was I put these two arms on backwards. So they have a design so the knobs are on the inside and with these knobs, you can actually loosen them and there's like a dead spot in the middle where they spin out like there. And then you can fold it and then when you wanna Bring it back in, you twist it back, and it'll go back in. I'll do that again when I have two hands to work with. So this says 18 volt, but I want to show you something interesting. Let's figure out how to open this. There it is. It's 36 volt. Two 18 volt batteries instead of your standard 40 volt. I got one of those right here. So 40 volt battery, two 18 volt batteries. So that's probably why it's 36 volt because this is a UK item. And I don't even think they have the 40 volt line over in uh, Europe and the UK. So that's probably why, but that's cool because we all have lots of 18 volt batteries. It's the $179 40 volt batteries that are hard. And then you saw me putting the cables on. These cable keepers aren't the greatest in the world. Uh, I think they could come up with a better design than that, but I got them in there. And then, kind of a view from up here. We have your safety handles, and we'll try this out here in a minute. And it says 35 millimeter. Uh, for those of you who still use the Imperial system like me, that is about 13 inches plus a little. So this is 13 inches wide. Okay. Got this thing flipped over so you can see it. So it's got a scarifier blade on it. It does not have a power rake. And the power rake is kind of those little tiny things. When I say tines, I mean like fork tines, not small. But uh, so this slices the soil and pulls up the thatch as opposed to a power rake, which just scrapes the soil. And when I get the other dethatcher out, I'll show you the difference. Um, this does have Looks like hex keys here, so you can pull these blades out and sharpen it. I'd be interested to see what the dimension is this to see if the Sunjo uh, power rake actually fits in there. And I'm actually going to actually try that out in a little while. But let's put a battery in this and try it out. Oh, the other thing I noticed, if you look at the picture on the manual, it shows it has a bag. This did not come with a bag, which is okay with me because I usually just throw the bag in the trash. 
So let's flip this thing over, put some batteries in it, and try it out. A couple other features I want to talk about real quick is the safety key. So if this key is not in or engaged, so it's just a jumper really, uh, the unit won't run, which is good. And then the other feature is the height. Right now I've got it on zero, which is the highest, just so I get a feel for it. And then I'm gonna start lowering it as I use it to get it to where it feels comfortable in my line. Okay, let's run it. All right, to give you an idea how the different settings are, so this is zero up here, and this is two down here. But you may also notice the unit kept stopping. So I switched it to one for a little while, kind of through here, and it kept stopping again. So I went back to zero. It seems to be doing a good job going back here, but again, it keeps cutting out. It cut out right there again. Uh, I think the height really has to do with kind of where the grass is. The grass is a little bit low in this area compared to up here it's a little fluffier so zero worked really good here but over here I would definitely have to go to a one just because of the height of the grass. It's kind of a, a low area right here. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put some bigger batteries in that thing and see if that makes a difference on whether or not it keeps cutting out or not. So these are 3 amp, these are 6 amp. All right, so the key definitely was the bigger battery. I've had no issues with this since I put the 6 amp battery in it. And definitely I would see why one of the larger 6 amp or higher 40 volt batteries would work really nice in this unit. So I'm going to definitely have to investigate maybe doing a 3D print adapter or something so I can snap in a 40 volt battery and then set it in here. But let's get the rest of this side finished. It's, hand, it's doing well. Okay, so I raked it up and I mowed all the loose stuff up. Yeah, mowing really helps clean this stuff up. That was a lot of work. So just my front yard and my boulevard strip. We got there. Holy crap. That's a lot. That pile is easy. Three, almost four feet tall, as you can see compared to the, the thatcher there. Uh, I am not going to attempt my backyard today because I only have that green bin right there. Fortunately, Thursday is trash day, so I'll get to the backyard in the next couple days. So let's get this put away. Well, here they are side by side, both 13 inches, cordless, corded. $179 plus shipping, so probably right around $200. And then this one was about $200 plus $175 in shipping because it came all the way from the UK. So over $400. But kind of worth it just so we get a chance to look at this and hopefully this will come to the States soon enough. 
hey, this Ryobi Detacher did really well. I would say it's comparative to the Sunjo, except for the price, and hopefully that'll come down when Ryobi decides to bring these to the United States. This would be awesome in the 40 volt line, but it's pretty good in the 18 volt line as well. Just don't forget to use the six amp batteries or higher. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about this video, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.